Hi everyone, so I thought I would come on and just kind of basically start a channel. Start a channel because I want to document my life and me coming from um, just the place I'm at right now, which is, you know, I'm going through a hard time right now as far as like finances, um, you know, just different things, friendships, all that. So I kind of wanted to document it to see, you know, how do I change? Uh, how do I grow? Uh, if I have, if I have grown, whatever the case may be. So, um, I just recently turned 30 years old and I don't know, um, if anybody else has felt like this, but I feel like I'm not where I'm supposed to be. And I'm kind of like, okay, so where am I supposed to be? Um, because what I had in my head planned out to where I'm supposed to be, I'm definitely not there. I'm far from it. Like, very far from it. Um, I'm married. I have a little girl. She's the cutest thing in the world. Um... And you know, um, I'm living in a in an apartment right now. It's not the best, and um, which I'm I'm grateful. I'm grateful regardless of if it's the best or if it's not the best. But I'm living in an apartment right now, and I'm just trying to figure out why don't I have a house right now? Um, why don't um, I have all the things I had planned in my head? You know what I'm saying? But I'm realizing that where I thought I should be is because of the standards that's put out there in the world. The things where people say, at 30, you should be basically here. Uh, at 20, you should be here. 40, you should be there. You know, uh, you should dress like this when you get 30. Um, and I don't know if anybody has ever felt that pressure. I know I've heard people like, I don't have kids right now, so... And I'm 30, and I don't have any kids, and I should have a kid by now. I should be married by now. But whose standard is that? Is that your standard? Or is that the world's standard of what they portray where people should be? Everybody has their own journey. Everybody has um, different points that they have to hit in their life before they get to their purpose. Um, and I feel like... I I've I grew up. Um, my mom and dad's married was married for a little while, and um, they ended up getting a divorce. So I was raised in a single uh, parent home. I have an older sister. I have a a younger brother. I actually have another older brother, but that was from my dad's previous relationship before him and my mom ever got together. And I also have another older sister, which I have only met once in my life um and my mom she worked she was a hard worker she she was a real hard worker i would almost say to the point of she was a workaholic uh but um i never really wanted for anything growing up even when i went into college my mom didn't pay for everything for me but i had a job um so anything that i wanted i got um now, being 30 and lost not one, not two, but three jobs in the process of three years, I've been laid off twice and fired for no reason once. And my first layoff happened when I just had my little girl, Zofia. Literally, I just had her. Like, she wasn't but a month old before I went back to work and realized I didn't have a job anymore. Um, and then from there, uh, it's been like almost a snowball effect. Like just from um, um, getting through my marriage as far as me and my husband have been married three years. Yay! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank God. We met and um, 
got married after two weeks of knowing each other, and we have been together three years now. Um, I love him to death. God knows I love him. Does he get on my nerves? Absolutely. Do I get on his nerves? Absolutely. Um, but, you know, and then having a child right after that. Some people might say, oh, well, that's the reason why you're at, where you're at now. But I knew when I met my husband, he was, he was the one for me. You know, you can say the universe, God, whatever you believe in. I believe in God and uh, Jesus Christ has been his son. I... I believe that God told me that that was my husband, and he believed the same thing. And even my grandmother, who was alive at the time, who is no longer alive, uh, God rest her soul, um, even said that God told her how to plan my wedding. So I knew, I knew it was meant. I knew it was meant. Can nobody tell me no different? I knew it was meant. But were the struggles real? Absolutely. Of course, you'd be like, oh, of course the struggles be with y'all only know each other for two weeks and y'all got married. What you want to believe is what you want to believe. But I feel like even people that have known each other for three years before they got married have these type of struggles financially, spiritually. When they have kids, you're going to go through it no matter how long you have known the person. It's all no matter how you come out at the end, you know, that... That matters, but another subject. Me and my husband will get together and we'll have a conversation. We'll go into deeper detail as far as like marriage and all that. Yeah, we only been married three years, but what we have gone through in three years, honey, please believe it ain't been no joke. But um, to be 30 now and to realize I'm not where I thought I would be, I'm not in the house, I don't have. The nicest car, the car was that we have now was given to me by, uh, given to me and my husband by my mom. 2006 Highlander. Um, a little girl that I absolutely love, but can I buy her everything? No. Um, but does she have everything she needs? Yes. I make sure my daughter has. Um, do I have a lot? Not really. Some people would say, oh, you're good. You know, because there are people out there living out on the streets with nothing, not even a roof over their head. And I'm very grateful. I thank God every day that at least I have a car to drive in to get to work, that I have a job to go to, and that I am able to walk, talk, and breathe every single day that I that I can um, there's been times where I'm like oh I can't stand this or whatever but then I have to realize I have to go back and say it's a lot of people that don't have what I have right now but anyway I know there's probably other people that's like me that you know you know we're near we thought you want to be I'm, I'm gonna tell let me tell you this my my goal right now and I've I've had a couple of goals, but my goal right now is to be a licensed esthetician and to um, be a makeup artist and to be able to travel, be able to live my life, be able to homeschool my little girl and any other kids that we might have at home uh, if if I want to because the system is mm -mm, it's kind of. Mm -mm. It's, no, I'm not even going to speak on that right now. But anyway, uh, I want to be able to have options. That's where I'm looking for, options. And I want those options, you know, to be very, you know, good options. Like, ooh, I like that jacket. It's $30. And I have to think, if I spend $30, you know, if something that was to happen in the tire blue, that could have been money to get a used tire. I can't get it. I want to be able to have the option to be like, ooh, the check at $30. Hmm, I got $30 to spend. You know what I'm saying? If something was to happen out of my control, I have the money to, to deal with that, even if I buy this jacket. So I'm going to get the jacket. You know what I mean? Or if, you know, I want to have the option to be like, oh, you know, I don't want to work today, or do I want to go, you know, to Miami? For two three days 
I don't, you know, I want to be able to say, I'm going to go to Miami. Take a day off. I don't want to be like, uh, you know, I can't go anywhere because, you know, if, if I don't work those last three days, I won't have enough for rent. You know, I, I want to be able to have options. I want my daughter to be able to have options. I don't want to be held down by the system, by anybody. I want to be free. I want to have an abundant life where I was promised by, by God, my father, by my best friend. God, I want to be able to have that stuff that he promised me. And I know that it's a road to get there. And I know eventually I'm going to get there because I feel like I'm almost at the point where I'm about to hit rock bottom. And I feel like some, might, some people might say, whoa, that's not good. But I feel like when God knows that you're with him and you're about to hit rock bottom and you're still looking at him, he's going to catch you. He's going to catch you. He's going to bring you back up. And he's going to say, now I think you're ready to, to have what I want you to have because you kept your eyes on me instead of looking at what this person got, what that person got. I will get there. And I'm doing these videos to document how I'm getting there. So maybe somebody else can look at these videos and be like, man, she was there. She, she was at a point where sometimes she didn't even know if she was going to have rent money, if she was going to have money to pay the lights if she was gonna have money to get her daughter pampers yeah I'm crying but it's not tears of sadness it's tears of joy because I know I'm gonna look back on these videos and realize God is good God is good and nothing lasts always Nothing lasts always. It only lasts that way if you let it. And I'm not going to let it. I refuse to be held down. I've been held down for three years. And this is a struggle to even get to where I am today. Where I can laugh. And just keep laughing without crying at the end of it. I can just keep laughing, keep laughing, keep having fun. I can cut all my hair off. If anybody... Then before my hair was long. I've cut my hair short before, but this short and to go blonde. Not this girl. No man. No ham. No turkey. And what? No bacon, please. Okay. Not gonna do it. Um, but the scene where I've come from just in three years of losing everything. I've had a car repo. I I have sold my computer. I have sold my clothes. Everything that I held dear to myself is gone. Material things that I've held to are gone, you know? And now, you know, sometimes God does that to let you know that He is the source. So, I'm going to sit here today and say, I made it. Alicia, you have made it. You have made it. And anybody else that's feeling that way, you made it. Just because it's not there right now don't mean you you didn't make it. You made it. You made it. You're a fighter. You made it. You did it. You did it. So, I'm just going to count it all joy. Count it all joy. Because no matter what, no matter what, what? As he said, I'm not a professor. You got to strut. <laughs> Sorry, I can be real goofy. Anyway, but I just want to laugh, cry, whatever. Encourage somebody today. Encourage myself. Because when I look back on this a month from now, a year from now, whatever, I'm going to be good. I'm good right now. But I'm going to be even better. I'm going to be better than good. I'm going to be great. I'm going to be amazing. I'm going to be outstanding. I'm going to be the person that somebody tap and say, how did you do it? I'm going to be that person. So I just want to thank God today. I want to just, you know, encourage somebody. Be blessed in whatever mess you in. Be blessed. Because nobody has the option to take that away from you but you. And if you got somebody in your life that's trying to take it away from you, get rid of them. Bye. Boo. Okay. So...
be blessed much love peace love and soul bye